Hello everyone, welcome back to Fleet and today I'm going to show you how to install Vix Point Blank Mod. So if you want to get guns in Minecraft just like I've got right here, this will definitely be the video to check out as I will show you how to install this gun mod and it's actually very easy to do. So if you do enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like on it, also hit that subscribe button as well as I do upload multiple Minecraft videos. But let's actually get straight into the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come to this website right here, I will leave a link in the description down below. Now this is to the Curse Forage website. So from here what you're going to want to do is to simply scroll down. And over here, as you can see, we have got the little files icon just here. So just click on that one there. Once you've clicked that, you can simply scroll down. And from here, you can choose the version you want to play this mod on. And you can also choose the mod launcher as well. Now in this video today, I'm going to be showing how to do it for Fabric. But if you want to know how to install Forage, I will leave a link on the screen right now and also in the description down below on how to get that. And if you want to know how to install Neon Forage, I also will leave a link in the description down below for that as well. So if you want to know how to install those. But today I'm going to be showing how to do it for Fabric. So simply from here, choose the version you want. For me, I'm going to be doing it for this one here. That is the latest version at the moment for Minecraft. So I'm going to be using this one just here. I'm going to click on the three little dots over here. Then click on download file just here. Make sure that starts to download. It'll take about five seconds or so. So while that is downloading, we're also going to want to download the Fabric installer as well. Or the Fabric loader. So make sure you download this as well. I will leave a link in the description down below to this website. Simply from here, just click on the download button. Then here, click on the download for Windows, click on that as well, and that will download also. And also, we are going to want the Fabric API, so I will leave another link in the description down below to this website. From here, what you're going to want to do is click on the Files icon just here, click on that, scroll down, and what you're going to want to do is look for the Minecraft version 1.21.1, .1, as that is the version we are downloading for our mod. So what I'm going to do is, from here, I'm actually going to click on the three little dots here, and then click on Download File, click on that, and wait for this to download. So while this is downloading, if you actually want to get yourself a Minecraft server to actually play the VIX point blank mod, I recommend checking out Apex Hosting as they have some of the highest quality servers you can get. And they also do come with a DDoS protection. So be sure to check them out with the link in the description down below. So now I'm actually on my desktop. What we're going to want to do is actually go to our Fire Explorer. So here is mine just here. From here, what we're going to want to do is actually go to our downloads folder over here. So select that. And in here, we can see that we have got our mods. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag these off to my desktop, just like that. Click on the little X button, and as you can see, we have now got our mods. So the first thing we're going to want to do is actually install the Fabric Loader, or the Fabric Installer just here. So just double click on this file just here. Now what this will do is actually load up a little menu, just like this one. From here, what we're going to want to do is make sure the Minecraft version is our mod version, which is 1.21.1. .1. And also make sure that launcher location, make sure that does have your .minecraft in here. That is very important, as this won't work. Now by default it should do it automatically for you. Now from here what we're going to want to do is actually click on the install button just here. So this will take a few seconds and yeah as you can see it is now done. Click on OK, click on the little X button just up here. We can now get rid of this file here so I'm going to get rid of that one. Don't need that one no more. Now very important you might need to install Java for these mods to work. So as you can see here I've got coffee mugs inside of these icons just here. Now if you don't see the coffee icons that is probably because you don't have Java installed. Now I will leave a link on the screen right now and also in the description down below on how to install Java. Now it is required to actually have Java installed for these to actually work. So once you've actually installed Java, what you're going to want to do now is actually load up your Minecraft launcher. So I'm going to load mine up right now. So my Minecraft launcher has now loaded up. So the first thing you're going to want to make sure that is you've got the fabric loader down here and make sure it's got the 1.21.1 .1 in there or whatever version you did download. That is very important, make sure that is selected. If you can't see it in here, you might just click on the little arrow button just here and select it from in here. So just have a little look through and see if you can find it. It's just here for me. I'm going to select that one. If you still can't see it in here, what you're going to want to do is come to installations up the top here. From here, you can make sure modded over here is selected. So make sure that modded up here is selected. And as you can see, once you select that, you can see them all come up in here. So if you have got modded selected and you still can't see them in here, what you're going to want to do is click on new installations just here. And in here, in the versions just here, make sure you select the fabric loader. So simply just click into here, scroll down until you find your fabric loader just here. And make sure it's got the right version just on the end there. So 1.21.1, .1. I'm going to select that one. Give it a name if you want to. And also you can give it an icon as well up here. But you only need to do this if you don't have the fabric loader on the back page. So if I click on cancel, I don't need to make one. So I'm going to click on cancel just here. If you've got this one just here, you won't need to create a new installation. So from here, what you're going to want to do is just hover over your fabric loader 1.21.1 .1, or whatever version you have downloaded. And simply from here, come to the little file icon just on the end here and click on that. This will load up your .minecraft folder. This is basically where all your mods and everything for your Minecraft installs to. Now what we're going to want to look for is actually the mods folder just here. 
But if you can't see a mods folder, we can actually make one. So I'm actually going to delete mine just now, and we're actually going to make one together. So it's actually very easy to make one. Simply just come off to the edge here, then right click, hover over new, then click on folder just here. And simply just type in mods like that, all lowercase, and then click on enter. And that is how you create a mods folder. So very easy to do if you don't have one. Now, once you've got your mods folder, just double click into it like that. So as you can see, we are now in our mods folder. I'm going to minimize the Minecraft just now so I can actually see my mods over here. And what I'm going to want to do is just drag in the point blank mod, drag that into there. And also for the fabric API, drag that into here as well. So make sure that these two mods are in the mods folder. That is very important. Now click on the little X button just up here. Click on that. Come back over to your Minecraft launcher. And in here, what you're going to want to do is click on play. Before you click play on Minecraft, I actually just forgot you actually need to install one more mod. And that is called Gecko Lab. So I will leave a link in the description down below to this website. So simply from here, click on the little icon just here, the files icon, click on that. Then from here, scroll down until you find the right version, which is 1.21.1 or whatever version you are using for your mod. Simply from here, make sure it's got the fabric here as well. Then click on the little three little dots over here, then click on download file. Then once you are on your desktop, make sure you go over to your file explorer. And then from here, go to your downloads. And as you can see, it's just here. I'm going to drag this off to my desktop, just like that. Get rid of this icon just here. I'm now going to go over to my Minecraft launcher, as you can see just here. I'm also going to go up to installations up here. Then what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to go over to the fabric loader, 1.21.1. Then click on the little file icon just here, click on that. Now in here, what we're going to want to do is actually look for our mods folder. And as you can see, here are our two mods we installed earlier. I'm going to minimize Minecraft. I'm going to drag in this one just here as we do need this for this to actually work. I apologize, I forgot we actually needed that. What I'm going to do now is click on the little X button just here, come back over to Minecraft, come back over to Play, make sure you've got the right version in here selected, which is this one just here, the Fabric Loader 1.21.1, then click on Play. Now wait for this to load up. Now once you're in Minecraft, what you're going to want to do is, is actually go to your inventory system. Now I'm actually in creative mode, so I can actually show you that these are working. So what we're going to want to do from here, is click on the little arrow just up here, click on that. As you can see, we have now got all these guns in here. And if you scroll down, you can see there's even more guns and stuff like that, all these attachments and stuff. So I'm actually going to grab one of these out just now and I'll put it into my inventory and I'm actually going to shoot it. So here we go, we're actually loading up the gun and we can actually shoot. So yeah, pretty cool this mod. Now, if you actually want to play this mod with your friends, I recommend using Apex Hosting as they have some really good high quality servers and you can be sure that your Minecraft server will run very smooth also with all your friends on it as well. So that's how you actually install the point blank mod. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button as well. Also, be sure to check out this video right here if you want to get more FPS in Minecraft. But that is it for this video, and I'll see you all in my next one.